Within the material banner you can display some information to the user and then he has some actions on which he can click. And we create here a scrolling banner and we will also look at how we can create a persistent banner which is not moving. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started by creating this persistent banner with some icon text and an action. To create a material banner, you simply go to your scaffold body property and here I have created a column and on top of it, we want to create our material banner. The banner which we want to create has some spacing around and this is what we want to add first. So I add here some padding to all sides so that we have some spacing. And secondly, we can also set a background color and this is then basically the color of our banner. And the most important property is then the content and here we can basically put any widget inside and I set here a text widget inside. And for all the text which you put here inside of this content, you can also create here this content text style. So here at the top, I create a new style content and I give it here a color of white and a different font size. And then you simply put this text style here inside. And this should then display here our text already in a white color. And we also want to create here this actions at the end. And therefore I simply have here another property which is called actions. And here you can set a list of actions and we want to set here a text button which says dismiss. And we also can supply here text style which I want to create here at the top. And here I put also a white text inside and then I simply refer it here inside. And that's all what we need for our banner. So now we have here this content, our text, which is displayed on the left side and our action, which is displayed here on the right side. If you like, you can also supply here the leading property and here inside you can then set at the beginning of your banner, an icon or an image. And I set here right now an icon and here I basically set it to a white color and to a bigger size. And then we have here this icon at the beginning. Next, we want to add here some actions. If we click on this card, then we want to update our credit card. And secondly, if we click here on dismiss, then our material banner should disappear. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code, you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses where I teach you how you can become a more efficient developer. To add our main action, if we click here on this material banner, we simply wrap our material banner inside of a gesture detector. And here, every time if we tap on this, then we want to update our card. And therefore I create here a new method. And here inside we basically show right now a snack bar and I put here a text inside which says clicked on update. And later you can basically put here your functionality inside like navigating to a new page or whatever you like to do. And now if I click here anywhere on this card, you see that he is showing the snack bar or your action which you like to do here. And lastly, we want to implement this dismiss button and if we click on this button, then our material banner should disappear. Therefore, we go simply to our material banner actions and here to our text button, we want to implement our unpressed handler. So if we click on this dismiss button, then our banner should disappear. And therefore, I simply create here this hide banner method. And inside of this hide banner method, we set a flag has banner to false and therefore I have here simply created this has banner boolean field and initially our has banner field is set to true so initially it should show up and if we call the hide banner method then it should disappear and you also call here the set state to update your UI. And lastly you need to go to your material banner and your gesture detector and here we wrap around this if has banner and this means our banner should only be visible if the has banner field is set to true. And now we can try it out so we can click here on this dismiss button and then our hide banner method is called and set the has banner field to false and then our banner is not displayed anymore in our widget tree. And to show our banner again, I simply add within our app bar an icon button. And here we have then this show banner method, which we now implement. And here we basically set our has banner field again to true. And now I can click here on this icon button and our banner will appear again. Next, we want to create a banner with multiple actions and also a different style. So we have here title and some description. And we also want to make it scrollable in our list. Let's get started by creating here our new design of our text and therefore we create here a title and under it some description. 
And therefore I simply go here to our content property and I exchange it here with a column. And then I put here title inside, which I give this font weight of bold. And under it, we want to display another text, which is then our description. And now we have here this title and also our description. And then we also want to exchange here our image and also want to add here another action. Therefore, I go to the leading property and I simply exchange here the icon to this run icon. And we also go within our material banner to our actions. And here we add another action and I call it simply join. And here I basically call then this method join, which I have renamed. And here we basically show again a snack bar, which says then clicked on join. And now we have here two buttons. One is join and the other one is dismiss. And if we click here on this join button, then the same action happens if we also click here on this card anywhere. We also want to look at how we can make our card scrollable because right now it is persistent. Before we do it, I also want to put here some different spacing between our icon and our text. And therefore you have here this leading padding and you can simply put it to only end. And this will have then here 24 pixels between our image and our text. And like you can see, now we have here a bit more spacing. To make our banner scrollable, we also want to look first of all at our persistent banner. And here we basically have a column and inside of it we have a list view and a list view is always scrollable. And this means our images are scrollable and the banner is persistent because it is within our column. And now if we want to make also our banner scrollable, we simply exchange here this column to a list view. And now our material banner is within this list view and is also scrollable. And we also want to go to our images, which are right now in this list view, and this is not working. And therefore I simply add our build images, which is here a list of widgets to our list. And this is what you can do with these three dots. And now if we scroll here, you see that also our material banner is scrolling with the content itself. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!